Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. A few videos ago I mentioned maybe doing a video about the YouTube channels that I actually watch and several of you showed interest in that. So today, that's what we're gonna do. These channels are in no particular order and they're a little all over the place. Some of them are entertainment, some of them are education, uh, some of them are inspiration. And I'll have all these channels linked in the description below if you wanna take a visit and hang out with these creators. So the first one on my list is Dr. Andrew Huberman. I found Dr. Huberman about a year ago and the irony is I didn't actually find him on his own channel. I actually found him on another channel which I also love. So this is kind of twofer, uh, so bonus channel. I found him on the channel called After School and it was a video talking about his morning routine and I just loved everything about that video and I started really working towards making my morning routine more like the one that he suggested. He's where I got the idea to delay my coffee intake, which was a real process. It has helped me a lot. And from then I listened to a lot of his podcasts. He's a neuroscience professor at Stanford, I think. He speaks a lot about brain. And uh, I just finished today, this morning, I listened to a two hour podcast on dopamine two hours and some of the stuff I may not even have really understood but it was all very fascinating and he has just opened up a whole new avenue for me to do some research um, he does talk about food and things like that but it, it mostly stems from your brain and how the brain works and that's all very fascinating to me so I really think you should check him out most of you probably already have he's gaining popularity and I think that's great I don't watch a lot of keto, ketovore, carnivore channels at this point in my journey. I don't really need to do that. I live with a doctor who specializes in keto and carnivore. Um, if I find some new information, obviously I dive into that research, but I try to get my information from more science-based resources like PubMed or things of that nature, not necessarily influencers or podcasts or things like that. There's a few uh, exceptions to that, but for the most part, I just don't really watch anything in my own niche, even though I don't really think I have a niche, but that doesn't matter. However, there is one that I just find so refreshing that I find myself watching her videos and I just love her so much. And I actually got to meet her in person at KetoCon a few weeks ago, and that is Laura Spath. She is a carnivore. She's been a carnivore for years. Laura Speth also loves Element Electrolytes, who is the sponsor of this video. Element Electrolytes are perfectly formulated. No junk, no sugar, just sweetened with stevia, lots of salt, magnesium, and potassium. The perfect formula for anyone eating a carnivore or keto diet, even low carb people. Basically anybody can benefit from drinking electrolytes actually. They have great flavors and as usual for my viewers they offer a free sample of eight different flavors for you to try with any purchase. All you have to do is go to the link on the screen or in the description and get your free sample pack. I love all of their flavors right now. I am stuck on the orange salt. I don't know why but it's so good. Again thank you to Element for sponsoring today's video. What I love about Laura's channel is that she's just incredibly consistent and honest and real and she doesn't uh, she doesn't overcomplicate carnivore. She keeps it simple. It is that simple. Eat meat, eat the meat that you like, eat it consistently. It's it's just so refreshing to see someone. And I feel like I do that too, but I'm not carnivore like she is carnivore. Like she, she's way more carnivore than I am. And she shows her family eating and she's just real life. She's just a real person going about her life and showing what she eats. And I think a lot of you have probably watched her how she orders videos, which for me, that seems so simple, but that is something that a lot of people may not understand that you can just walk into a restaurant and say, Hey, just give me, just give me the meat. And so she shows that at hundreds of different restaurants. So if you need to know how to order something at a specific restaurant, chances are Laura, has done a video on that because she travels a lot. So if you don't already follow her, she's on Instagram. I think she's on TikTok. Uh, she absolutely has a YouTube channel. Definitely go check her out, especially if you want food inspiration that is just carnivore because that's what she eats. She eats meat. She eats chicken. Oh my God. She eats bacon. 
oh my god she just eats all the meats and i just love her energy and her realness and i appreciate her for keeping it simple because it's it's really it's just that simple for the most part <laughs> third channel i like to watch is hannah lee dugan or duggan i'm not really sure how it's pronounced but she her channel is just her life and she's all over the place she started out living in a van and, and documenting her life in a van and now she has a cabin and now she bought a new house and it's just her in the woods a lot just doing things on her own uh she's solo most of the time and she's just she just shows her life and it's just so calming and relaxing and it's just a feel-good channel like there's no must no fuss it's just her living in the woods and I really love her energy too so check out Hannah if you need some videos that have no <laughs> agenda at all like at all fourth channel I can't remember the name of it but I'm gonna put it on the screen is ambient music and it's just calming jazz uh, sometimes it's sound effects like rain uh, at Christmas time it's Christmas music during the fall time it's fall music and it, all of it has ambient um, experiences so it's a coffee shop or it's the woods or it's a lake and during the fall it's halloween stuff and at christmas it's a christmas tree and it's all this stuff and it's just nice to have that on the tv with that going to kind of set the tone especially in the mornings i like to turn that on there's even a channel that does movie experiences ambiance movie ambiance so there's a harry potter one there's a lord of the rings one um it's just a chill atmosphere and kind of sets the tone in the morning without it being actually something going on the TV. So I love doing that. Uh, number five is Angie Bellamere, and she does a lot of morning routine videos. And while my morning routine is nothing like her, she doesn't have kids. She has a cute little puppy dog and she loves Halloween and Christmas and decorating. And I just don't do that stuff anymore, but I still like to watch other people do it. And watching her morning routines is just, it's just built, it's a very calming way that she films. She does voiceovers and she does not, um, she works out. It's, you know, it puts me in the mood to kind of like get my stuff together sometimes. I need a little inspiration too. And she also loves Disney World and she lives at Disney's um, gated community. <laughs> so I like to like live vicariously through her with that as well. And I love Disney stuff. And that's actually how I found her. She was doing Disney stuff and Anyways, I follow her for her morning routine videos. Those are my favorite. The next one is The Daily Stoic. Uh, I love stoicism. It has helped me manage a lot of my anxiety and stress, uh, especially in the years where that was super bad. Um, I've read the books. I've read every book that Ryan Holiday has written. Um, and I watch the video sometimes when in the morning when I'm needing a little pep talk to like reset my brain and not get into the anxious like if something has happened and I can feel my anxiety building I go and listen to one of his videos and kind of reset my mindset and I'm like yeah that's let it go basically it's <laughs> don't don't overcomplicate life let it go accept the crazy and move on so I recommend watching the channel but also if you buy any of Ryan's books, I would say The Daily Stoic is probably my favorite one. Um, and Obstacle is the way, those two. You can get them on Audible. I don't really like his voice on Audible, uh, but the books are really, really good. And if you're looking to manage your stress and get a grip on your mindset, uh, Stoicism is great. It's not a religion. It's just a way of thinking and anyone can do it. It's great. Last one, <laughs> Jordan Peterson. Uh, you either love him or you hate him, I think. And while I don't agree with everything that Jordan Peterson talks about or says, his opinions, he has a way with words. And I've read his books many times as well. I'm actually listening to uh, 12 Rules again. And he is a psychologist, in case you didn't know, and he just really has a way of making you think about things um, in a way that makes them changing your perception of something that you may see this way and he shows you another way to think about it that makes more sense. 
he also has a lot of interviews on his channel now uh, and he actually had Dr. Huberman on there. That podcast was so fascinating. He has a lot of wonderful guests and so I listen to his podcast sometimes as well. So those are the main channels that I frequent on YouTube that either entertain me, um, will teach me something, put me in a nice peaceful mood, stimulate my brain, or just, you know, inspire me. If you want to check out any of these channels, like I said, I'll put all of them in the description and uh, you can go hang out with any of these creators. Tell them I sent you. <laughs> Maybe Dr. Huberman will follow me on literally anything. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. If it was, make sure to hit that thumb on the way out and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Love you, mean it. Bye.